In this video, I'm going to make a couple of uh, purse handles. This is intended for a crocheted purse. It's a request from my wife because she does a lot of crocheting. Uh, she wanted to know if I could make a handle she could use. and So she gave me the ideas and design basics. And this is my second design. My first design was this. And I have a pair of those for her to mess with too. But anyway, this is what this video is going to be about. It's going to be fairly short. But it's not a real complex uh, complex video. The main thing is I created the pattern myself in Inkscape, my first pattern that I've ever created from, from scratch. So uh, hang on here and I'll uh, talk about the material and show you the pattern. And if you'd like a copy of the pattern, well, I'll try to make it available. Just say so in the comments. So hang on and we'll, we'll talk about the pattern and the material. Yeah, I want to introduce you to the uh, material and the pattern I'm going to use in this little uh, project. Uh, this was at a request from my wife who likes to crochet, and she said uh, she could crochet some purses, but she needed purse handles, and you could buy them, but she wanted to know if I could make one. So I started out trying to, with, with some of her guidance, to design something. That was my first prototype. Uh, that was just uh, cut out of some salvaged plywood, which was salvaged out of a, the seat of a recumbent uh, bicycle, exercise bike. Uh, I've redrawn the pattern there. I'm going to cut that out because it requires two. I'm going to go ahead and finish that prototype so there will be two of them, and she can or use it or not, whatever she decides. But I went into Inkscape and designed this. This was my first ever complete pattern that I designed myself with Inkscape. I've used it to cut and paste and, and do some various things with it, but I designed this one from scratch. She liked the looks of it, so I'm going to cut two of these to pass on to her to see if they work. And I'm using this material here. This is uh, 3 8 which came out of my seconds package. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It really doesn't matter. I just want to see if this pattern is going to work. And I thought 3 8 would be a good size. It would be strong enough, but small enough in the hand because it requires two of them. So I'm going to stack these. This is, I had to glue two pieces together to get the width. And I'll sand all those seams out later. But uh, those, uh, but I didn't have a piece big enough because I wanted the grain to run this direction. So it would be stronger right here. That would be a weak point. And right here. So I had to glue these together to get a piece wide enough for the grain to run in the proper direction. So I'm going to stack these and apply the pattern and drill the holes. And uh, I'll also drill the holes in this piece and cut it. Uh, that's kind of a secondary thing now, but I want to finish a pair of those. Uh, so let me get these uh, this material uh, stacked and then we'll mount the pattern and, and drill the holes and take it to the scroll saw. Yeah, this was a little bit larger pattern, so I took it outside and used spray glue on it. It's a little less forgiving, you got to make sure you got it where you want it when you set it down. I didn't want to spray that in the shop, so I stepped outside to do it. And I'm going to cover that with clear tape and then drill it, and then we'll be over the scroll saw.
And as I like to do, I try to drill in the vicinity of a spot that I can get to easily. Give me a good entry and exit point. Uh, a corner, I like going to a corner directly in there and then I can go either direction. And it just makes it easier to enter and come out of a, of a turn. Uh, you can see what I talk about when I, when I do it. Uh, so when I get those to the scroll saw, I'm going to try to use the number five blade. I've got to go set that up, get it ready, and then we'll start cutting. Okay, I got a blade. It's a new blade. It's number five XL. It's not reverse tooth. Didn't really want a reverse tooth in a thicker material. I got a stack two, three eighths, so it's a little over half inch total. It's a fairly hard root wood. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not super hard. Uh, so I'm going to try this large area first with any real hard turns in it see how well it's going to cut so when we'll find out here if we need to go to a larger blade or do something different but here we're going to find out Yeah, that's cutting really well. I'm not unhappy with that. I think we'll be able to do that just fine. It's easy to turn. <clears throat> it actually smells like walnut, but I'm pretty sure it's not walnut. But it's got a very walnut similar smell. You cut enough different woods, you can kind of tell the difference. Anyway, I'm going to come out of this one, go and cut these stars, and keep moving on.
So there they are cut out. Now I got a lot of work to do. <clears throat> I want to sand to get both sides of this nice and smooth to start with. And then I'm going to round all these edges, especially on the outer side and down in here where she's going to crochet around. Uh, both of these. I'm going to do these two. And then she has option of using one or the other. But this was her favorite. Uh, for me, it's a little small for my hand. I've got a large hand. This one is more comfortable to me. But uh, she likes this one a little better to start with, and she proved that design, and it was kind of what she was asking for. So that's what I'm going to go with for now. And i uh, got a lot of work to do to sand it. I'm thinking about a linseed oil finishing on it. I'm not going to seal it, just kind of use something that soaks oil into the wood, kind of leave a natural wood finish to handle with. So let me get to work on the, I'm going to file these edges and sand them and then we'll look at it and see what kind of finish and how it's going to look when we get through. So I spent probably an hour working on these. I ran the D's off really nice and this down here so she could crochet on that a little easier. Made that comfortable to the hand. It's a little small for my hand but my wife says it's perfect for her. Sanded it down to 150. I did this, I didn't do it quite as detailed a job on this, uh, but I'm going to pass this on to her. If she wants to experiment with it, she can. Uh, I'm not going to do much else with it. I might finish it a little bit. But on this one, these two, I'm going to put a, a boiled linseed oil finish on it and uh, buff it off and let it dry. and pass it over to her. She's got some yarn ordered specifically for this project. So when she gets that done, gets that in and she, she sees she can make a purse with it, then I'll do a video to show the finished product. But first let me finish this and get it ready to give to her. Well, that <clears throat> made it look really nice. I like the way it brought the grain out. These could be stained if you wanted to darken them, bring a little grain out even more. I didn't want to do that. Just this is kind of a prototype and a test. Uh, going to see how this works. Do other things with the design if we need to, or other methods of finishing. I kind of like the natural wood in my hand, me personally. Uh, I'll let this oil soak in. I'll give it an hour or two. Come back and buff it and see if I need to put another coat on it. And if I don't, then I'm finished with it. I'll just pass it on to her and let her take it from there. Okay, so these set an hour and a half, two hours. I buffed them off a little bit. I'm going to call that good right now because it's uh, this kind of a prototype. I'm going to see how she likes that. Still needs to sit overnight for I give it to her. She doesn't have her yarn anyway. So I'm pleased with it. The grain looks real nice. Uh, it's nice and smooth. I and, uh, think it's going to work fine, hopefully. But I like the way it looks. And uh, hopefully we'll have a video later with a, with these, with a purchase, purse attached to them. And I can show you what she did with them. So if you like this sort of thing, I'm trying to look for unique things, maybe even my own designs. Uh, Hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you got any ideas you'd like me to try out, well, leave me a message in the, in the comments. And uh, we'll go from there. So please subscribe, hit the like button, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.